In this video, we present the QoS based resource allocator XAP demo developed by Remeda Labs. The XAP has been integrated with the ONF's SD Run project. In the video, we are focusing on the XAP policy control, but first, its specification will be overview. The aim of the XAP is to control the number of resources in the scheduler in the ODU unit. The formulas, parameters and their values which were used in the XAP have been contained below. The resource allocation performed by the QRA XAP is triggered in the following cases. The SLA targets specified by A1 policies for slice are constantly checked by the XAP. In the QRA XAP there are three different variants of radio resource allocation. Equal, which divides available resources among slices equally. Reserve, in which available resources assignment depends on service type. Higher SST, more PRBs allocated for the slice. In relation to network slicing, the SST means slice slash service type. It defines the expected behavior of the network slice in terms of specific features and services. Prefer, in which the allocation for the slice with strictly specified SST value is prioritized. The QRA XAP can be managed by using policies passed through the A1 interface. By communicating with the A1T component, the SLA targets for particular slices can be defined. First, slices for which at least one policy is defined get resources. Then the remaining slices are served. As an example, the QRA XAP behavior for the reserve variant will be presented. To observe the result of the XAP working, the logs of available cells, UEs and slices are attached. There are two slices for which the resources were allocated according to the service type. Now there is a time to present policy control by using the A1T component. The communication with the A1T module can be performed by using the REST client. Currently, there are two types of registered policy schemas in the A1T. One of them is Oran Slice SLA Target 100, in other words, the policy schema that is used by the QRA XAP. There is no policy that is deployed for the QRA XAP. The first one that is going to be inserted specifies the maximum number of UEs per single slice. The limit of associated UEs has been set on 2 for slices with the SST equal to 1. Right now there is one policy deployed in the QRA XAP. The table of deployed policies has become visible in the logs. In effect, the slice with the SST equal to 1 has 2 UEs all the time, of course, if there are more than 2 UEs with the 5QI equal to 1. The RRC status for the UEs which have got the 5QI equal to 1 and can be assigned to the slice becomes idle. In this case, the number of allocated resources for the slice didn't change. The policy did change only the number of UEs among which the resources have to be divided. The next policy defines the maximum doubling throughput value for a single UE in slice. The value has been set on 100 megabits per second for UEs assigned to slices with the SSD equal to 2. In effect, the DL throughput of the UEs with the 5QI equal to 2 does not exceed 100 megabits per second. And because of that, the number of the allocated resources for the slice has been reduced. The first deployed policy will be the one that specifies the guaranteed downlink throughput for slice. The value has been set on 950 megabits per second for slices with the SSD equal to 1. In effect, the DL throughput of the slice is never below 950 megabits per second, of course, depending on propagation capabilities. And because of that, the number of the allocated resources for this slice has been increased. Percentage ratio of the current to the guaranteed value of the slices DL throughput can be seen. Thank you for attention. Best regards from the Remedo Labs team.